Have we all recovered from the events of the last video then? I mean, it's... I've, I've genuinely taken a few days off. I don't think I've recovered yet. But today... It's the playoffs. Hello and welcome to part 54 of Back in the Borough. I'm Kev and today we play Accrington in the playoffs. I didn't realise the playoffs in non-league were just sort of one and done now. We have one match, a home match against Accrington to try and get ourselves into the playoff final where we will face either FC United or Hartlepool. Accrington have just beaten Billericay in the first round over one leg um, and presumably... Um, Hartlepool, I guess, beat Dagenham, or it's confusing. Either way, it's it's us against Accrington. We are at home. We've got the advantage. We do have a slight disadvantage um, in there. If we go back here, they're in excellent form. We're only in inconsistent form, although we are considered the favourites for the match, presumably because we're at home. I'm terrified. Remember, we don't have James Ball. We don't have Sedwin Scott. They've been two key, key attacking players and have resulted in us having to play players, specifically top scorer Livesy Mason, out of position up in the in behind the front two. He'd been scoring at a goal a game all season until we stopped him playing him as a striker and he's just not really scored since. He's, st he's still averaging a goal every 84 minutes of league football, inexplicably. Um, I don't understand how that works when he hasn't scored for so very long, but... Uh, it's just that is I mean that's Ashley Chambers form sorry Ashley Chambers if you're watching you, you, you weren't very good in the save I mean and in fact I'm talking nonsense anyway he's played one game as an attacking midfielder apparently I, that can't be right we've seen him play several I think <sighs> regardless this is the team we're putting out there today we've got Ted Canning goal a back four of Anderson Redhead Sawyer and Williams with Sir Tom Elliott Taylor and Hurd in midfield Mason is going to be behind the biggest the biggest shout I've had. I'm playing a proper target man. Akeem Forte is going to be alongside Fuster. Forte has already agreed a transfer to go to Shamrock Rovers. He is leaving the club. He made his debut in the last couple of games of the season. His first he still has, he's never started a game for us. If we lose, it might be the only game he ever starts for us. And even if we win, there's a chance Sedwin Scott might be ready for the final. So this might be the only start of Akeem Forte's non-eaten career. But Fuster and Omar isn't working. We need a proper target man. He's the one. That might cost us. It might be significant. But we've got Omar on the bench. We've got Mitchell Glover on the bench. So we have attacking options. And they're going to come and do a 4-5-1 and just dominate our midfield. This is disgusting. Um, I certainly hope so. Right. Match. Match time. Um, for those of you who are looking at the length of the episode and assuming you know the outcome, we are just doing the semi-final today. Win or lose, it's going to be the semi-final because I don't I don't see any other way to avoid spoilers on this first match because if we if we play the final today, if we win, then you'll know if it's like a 20-minute episode, we won the first match. So it takes any suspense out of this first match. So it's going to be a short episode because we're only doing this one match. Win, lose, or draw. And I mean a draw. It's If it's a long episode, we probably did draw and it went to extra time and penalties. So you're still going to get some spoilers. But I just thought that that seemed like the the fairest way to do things. And hopefully we have a final coming up tomorrow. Which would be nice. We've, I mean, there's nothing happening so far. First significant highlight of the match, and it is an Accrington corner, and we managed to get it clear, but they do have another corner. We've had three half chances. I certainly haven't seen them on highlights, so they obviously weren't that significant of a half chance, and I thought that had gone in. I was about to vomit all over my keyboard. I do warn you as well, there's every chance. If something disgusting happens today, I might be sick. Taylor to Mason. What a weird free kick this is. Why is nobody having a shot? What just happened? A free kick. Literally. I mean, it's in the D. And that was just so stupid what we just did. We had a very similar situation to that earlier in the season where Scott squared it to Mason and Mason just hit it and scored an absolute beauty. I don't know why he didn't shoot there, but it's across to Forte. It's our first big, big chance of the game. And he misses. Sedwin Scott would have scored. I think we've edged this first half. 
but it will count for nothing if Accrington go and score here. It's not about edging it at this stage. It's not about, oh, well, at least we played well. We've just... Oh. They, 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 they've had the first clear-cut chance of the game. They have officially now edged it because we haven't created a proper clear-cut chance yet. Although the chance for Forte, I think, was probably an easier goal than the one they've just missed there. Right, it's also nil-nil in the other game, so I'm trying not to pay too much attention to that. We know we can beat both of them. I mean, we've probably beaten Accrington over the course of this season. We've beaten everybody. It's just we've not done it consistently, as is shown by the fact that even our form leading into the end of the season, if we could have found any consistency, we would have won the league. On our day, we're better than any team in this division, but we're also capable of being absolutely useless. I don't, I don't like defending. <laughs> but I see, I recognise it's something we have to do. Oh, no, no, no. Losing Ball and Scott has been such an issue. And I think, actually, losing James Ball has been the biggest problem that we've had on this run-in because we just we don't have anyone else who can be that creative force behind the front two. For either my glasses have steamed up or there are tears in my eyes. I hope it's glasses. Um, I'm 35 years old and this is a video game. Oh, right. Come on, what can we do? I can't take Sir Tom Elliott off. Fuster, I'm going to make the call and take off Fuster, push Mason further forward and get Glover in behind. We'll give that 10 minutes. We've got to get Mason into the attack and just hope that he can find a goal. Forte is in and misses. He's a problem. He, I don't know. I might regret that that selection. Unless he scores. I mean, he's not going to get an opportunity to score because I'm going to bring Omar on now. Omar's going to come on for Forte. And... I mean, there's there's nothing else. We've got nothing else. We'll go attack him. Come on, lads. At least get a goal. At least show you wanted it. We just... This last six or seven games of the season, it is since Ball got injured. We just don't have anything at all going forward. Mason's gone off the boil. Scott's not there to weigh in with his important goals. I just don't feel like we're going to equalise. I don't feel like we're getting back into this game. We're just... We're not showing anything. Right, redhead. Omar nods down, but Mason can't get hold of it. Taylor, fairly deep, finds Hurd. Hurd to Glover. Glover to Mason. Out to Williams. Omar's in the middle. It falls to Hurd. And there's your equaliser, boys and girls. Nyron Hurd. He is... He has been the form player on this run-in. And he's weighed in again with another massively, massively important goal. I, I mean, it's bobbling. I don't know what Omar's doing. Omar sort of nods it down to Glover. It bounces off an Accrington player and Herd's there just to say, look, will one of you morons just have a shot? I'm deliberately leaving it on attacking because I want to win the game. Um, you know, there's, there's no point dropping back to control. It's Omar to Sir Tom Elliott. Anderson, Taylor, we're actually attacking now. Glover! Oh! Another clear-cut chance goes begging. Mitchell Glover, the homegrown player, could have made an, made himself an absolute hero. But now we've got a minute to go, and it's Accrington who've got the ball, and this is where the keyboard vomit is coming. Um, I have got a new keyboard on my Amazon wish list that's down in the comments. If I do vomit over this one, I'd appreciate if someone could get me a new one by tomorrow so that I can release the next video. Otherwise, it's just going to be disgusting because I'm not buying one. Oh, can makes the save. Oh, right. Come on. Just defend. Defend for all you're worth. Glover. To Mason. Right, Mason with 15 seconds and he can't even... I mean, we've seen him beat three men and stick it in the back of the net from there before. And he's just... I think he's realised he's only a two-star player. He's been playing way above himself for so long. We're going to make our final substitution. I think we're going to bring on Ryan Moore to play it right back. Just for a little bit of energy and because the other guy's not playing very well and he was tired. Right, we go again. Should we drop down to control? We've got half an hour now. It's not like we're forcing into the last 10 minutes. Let's just drop back down to control. We don't need to be silly. We've got... I mean, it, it won't be fun, but we've got the time to concede a goal and still get back into it. So we don't need to be crazy attacking. 
I do not want a penalty shootout. Unless we win it, in which case that's absolutely fine. <sighs> Half time, at extra time. We didn't get a highlight at all in the extra time period. Do we go and try and win it or do we accept a penalty shootout? I don't remember being in this situation very often. I think we just have to continue as we are. I would rather have a penalty shootout than concede because we're attacking too much at this stage. Mason to Omar. Taylor can't get hold of the ball. And here's your ball over the top to Accrington and Can collects. I don't even remember if Ted Can's any good against penalties. I know we've had a habit of missing them this season, except when Sir Tom Elliott's had them. And because I've now said that, that means Sir Tom's missing his. He is up first. <sighs> I don't want to press confirm. I don't want to do it. Right, Sir Tom Elliott. Please, Sir Tom. Please. Come on. 1-0. One 1-0. Nil. One nil. Just, Ted can make yourself a hero. Come on. I hate penalty shootouts. Oh, I thought Can had saved it there. We'd, it doesn't look like we're doing the ABBA -A -B -B -A thing. Because... I don't know, perhaps they don't do that in non-league. Glover scores. So it's an old-style penalty shootout as well. Come on, Ted. Come on, Ted. Oh, he's left-footed. That means he must miss. No. No, no, no. Omar. Come on, Omar. He hasn't scored for us for so long. I'm scared. I'm afraid. He scores. Mason's going to miss, isn't he? He's going to be the hero of the season and then miss the penalty in the shootout. Come on, Teddy. Come on, Ted. Another left footer. Misses. Doesn't. Oh, does he? Here's Mason. This is this is going to be... Oh, it's going to be horrible. It is going to be horrible. He's been so good for so long. Come on, Ted. Oh, this is just, just horrible. Ted, come on. Yes! I don't know if it was a save or a crossbar, and I don't know what that noise was, and I apologise if you're listening on headphones, but you should know better at this point. I can't believe we've just had to pause mid-penalty shootout because there's someone at the door. Oh, it's related to this save as well. I'm going to show you what this is in a second. But come on, just score. If we score, we make it to the final. I don't know if the final's at Wembley. Come on, redhead. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Please, 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 please. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> It's all on you, Ted. Come on, Ted. Oh, this shootout's going to go on forever, isn't it? Oh, my goodness me. Ted's taking his time. Putting the pressure on. Good work, Ted can. Come on now. Come on. Come on. Sudden death. Nyron Hurd. The man who scored the goal. Scores again, and we go back to Ted and say, come on, Ted. <sighs> this is horrible. Sudden death penalties. Come on, Ted. Come on. <sighs> come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. <laughs> Playoff final. Here we come. We are one match away from the Football League. That one match is going to be tomorrow. Um, and it's going to be against FC United. Goodness me if we laboured towards that. But I want to show you what this is. Because I can see where it came from. Um, it is related to this save. Those of you who watch my streams over on Twitch will have a good idea of what this is. But I'm just going to come on. Get into the stupid box. moment this is because we're all going to the last Nuneaton game of the season Nuneaton against Blythe on the 28th of April it'd be great if you could come along and while we're there this is properly heavy this is I don't know if you can read what it says on the inscription it's for Sir Tom Elliott all-time record appearances that's a proper metal trophy Hopefully, 
we can also present him with a with a playoff victory tomorrow. If you have enjoyed today's episode, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching. <laughs>